Dromedaries are camels with only one hump. They belong to the most important livestock species in desert region as they provide staple food and transport for millions of people. Without dromedaries, humans could not have survived under such harsh conditions. But how exactly were dromedaries domesticated? Our team of international scientists, lead managed by Pamela Burger from the Research Institute of Wildlife Ecology, Vetmet Uni Vienna, Austria, and Oliver Hennot from the University of Nottingham, UK, investigated dromedary domestication and recently released the results in the scientific journal PNAS. Dromedaries have not always been in the desert. White dromedaries preferred ecologically rich places like the mangrove forest at the coastal regions of the Arabian Peninsula. The number of white dromedaries had already been reduced when domestication started around 3000 years ago. Transporting people and goods in cross-continental caravans, domestic animals increased in numbers, while the wild ancestors became extinct around 2000 years ago. We investigated the DNA of more than 1,000 modern dromedaries over their global distribution range. In addition, we screened up to 7,000 years old bone samples and detected shared genetic ancestry between wild dromedaries from the southeast coast of the Arabian Peninsula and modern individuals from today's United Arab Emirates. These animals share mitochondrial DNA haplotypes, which are transferred from the mother to the offspring. Although some of the wild dromedary haplotypes have been lost, we find their maternal lineages in around 75% of the modern population. We assume that after an initial domestication, more female wild dromedaries were caught for crossbreeding with the early domestic stock. We found a generally high genetic diversity in the global dromedary population. If we compare animals from different regions, we see only little phylogeographic structure. Cross-continental and back-and-forth movements in ancient caravan routes are a plausible explanation for this extensive gene flow. However, we observe subtle population structure between some regions. Especially dromedaries from East Africa differ genetically from the rest. Possibly they were more isolated due to geographic and cultural barriers. Today, dromedaries continue to provide basic commodities millions of people in marginal agroecological zones. In the current context of advancing desertification and global climate change, there is renewed interest in the biology and production traits of the species, especially for milk and meat. Dromedaries outperform all other domestic mammals in arid environments, improving vital production traits while preserving the genetic diversity in these multipurpose, unique animals will be important and a challenge for the future.